Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to MedZone African Motives. Uh, still on our mathematics for grade eight. In this case, we need to consider uh, exactly what we are going to be working with as we are to work uh, with our term four. We had our term three. Uh, I just hope we managed to do the best as we had our tests uh, that were given from whatever school that you are at. Uh, if not, then let us revise as much as we can for our term four. And as we do understand our term four, this is a comparison. We're going to cover the part of term four and also refer back to what you did in term one, in term two, and in term three. So the first part, we're going to have our week one and week two. The first part there, we're going to be working with your graphs. So on the comment section, I want us, I want me to know, guys, like, can we start actually working on these topics as introductions? Then we can do the question papers once we open, because as we open, we are not, we are, this is the shortest term. We do not have, like, we cannot say the shortest, but we do not have a lot of things. We're just going to be, all things to be rash, rash, because we need, remember, we need revision. So the way I'm saying it's the shortest is because there is, Revision needed for term one, term two, term three also. So guys, be very, very careful in this term, okay? So one, you will need the graphs, meaning to say you are talking of the interpreting of graphs. Analyze and interpret global graphs of problems. So you're going to talk of the, um, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, but what you just need is that you're going to work with the graphs. I'm, I'm the one who's going to explain what is it that you will be doing there. All right, do not... Uh, what about some of the terms that you're not understanding there? And the end part, you also need the part of the drawing of those graphs. We're going to talk about that as we are moving on uh, together. Then the second part is you need to work with the theorem of Pythagoras. It's another part that is important. So I'm going to talk about that. Uh, working with the theorem of Pythagoras from our right angle to triangle. Uh, working with the problems. Uh, where we are going to also to need to leave irrational answers in what is called said form. So you're going to talk about that. Do not worry. Uh, just make sure that you are well equipped uh, to the revision. Then the other week, week five to week six, you're going to be working with the areas and the perimeters of 2D shapes. Area and perimeter and also calculations and solving problems you're supposed to be very equipped uh the use uh and converting between appropriate si units including the square millimeters square centimeters those basics they need you to know them okay so that is what you're going to have there on the area and perimeter uh so just make sure guys you you are prepared all right then this is what i was saying after you are going to have the last week uh for like in terms of classwork, you are going to have revision of what? Term three and term four work. So you see, guys, it's just a week, week seven. Then from there, it's what? Formal assessment task, which is examination paper one and paper two. Pep examination paper one and all topics from term one to four, all not some, but all of them. So this is where I was saying, please, guys, as time, as you have time right now, find yourself at just a space of time along this holiday, just one day or even just some small time to re refer back to what you did in term one, term two, term three, just like that. Because we need those. All right. So that is what you're going to be talking about in our term four. So meaning to say, as I'm talking about term three, uh, remember what I referred, so I'm just going to go through uh, these ones as we hear them in our term three, term two, so that you do understand what are they talking about. So they are saying, uh, refer back to your term three. You are supposed to go back and revise your algebraic expressions, your algebraic equations. Uh, also revise your geometry of straight lines. Also revise your geometry of 2D shapes. That is what they are saying there when they are saying term one to term three. So you also go back to your term two. As you had your term two, they are saying go back to your term two, revise your exponents, 
revise your numeric and geometric uh, patterns. Also revise the functions and relations together with the algebraic expressions. Make sure that you revise those as you had them in your term two. Also, they are saying, go back and revise as you had before in your term one, as you had it before. That is what they are saying. When they are saying these are supposed to be there, they are saying go back and, rev and revise this. The whole numbers, the integers, as you had them in what? In your term one. Make sure you do revise everything. Go back and revise your common fractions. Revise your decimal fractions as well. So that is, you will be able to answer your examination, which is consisting of all these terms together. That's what they are saying. Okay, I want to go back to that uh, page so that we uh, conclude. That's what they are trying to say. As you had this before, do revise them. So I wish you guys all the best as we are working with our final part of the year, which shows us what we have been doing since the beginning of the year. So how do you want it to end like? It is in your hands right now. You choose to change it right now. So all the best, guys. Uh, all the best, my juniors. Let me know the areas that we need to work on on the comment section. The, that comment section is there for you. It is there for you. Right there. Let us know what is it that you are supposed to work on as we are revising. So that's it, guys. Uh, from Met Zone African Motives. Chill, we meet again.